How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. It's our favorite day of the week, patch day, and let's jump straight into it. April 21st, patch note. This one is insane. Unable to load the page, it's because people are going crazy. People are going crazy to smash the refresh button, we get through this air. Uh, we should have preloaded it, but it's interesting to see how hard it's going to be able to get into this page. There we go. Two refreshes. It's a two refresh patch morning. Whew. Secret Schultz Fortress. We have a new zone called the Secret Schultz Fortress. 7,000 recommended CP. That's absolutely crazy. Two reds, uh, your, your, your Schultz chest, and Susan's supply bundle. That's going to be a spicy zone to farm in, but 7k CP. This patch better introduce somehow for us to increase our CP. Don't worry, it does. Um, <laughs> whoo, and awakened enchantment. Yikes, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a patch. Uh, pry, duo, try. Urgh, whoo, that's a lot of CP too. Basically... It's introducing the Roman numeral enhancement system, which is on top of your plus 40. Now you can add Roman numerals to your gear if it's plus 40. Plus 40 to Roman numeral 1, and that's actually increasing your CP by 20. That is intense. You can perform awakened enhancements on gear that is mystical grade or higher and is plus 40. Pristine black crystals are used for awakening, awakened enhancement. You can collect black stones from the refinery in the camp and then use them towards the creation of pristine black crystals. Advice of Valks can be used to increase your chances of a successful enhancement. If awakened enhancement fails, you can use restoration scrolls for a chance to maintain the current enhancement level. Added weekly special collection. Weekly special collection. Completion reward. Grand Blackstone sack times three. Time till weekly renewal, six days, five hours. Interesting. The rewards and criteria for weekly special collections reset every Monday. You can collect various rewards. I'm just glad they're not giving out CP on this weekly reset. That would be very awkward. It looks like it's a weekly collection that allows you to get some special rewards in return. Um, I, I, I just really hope they... It'd be interesting if they did, but it would be very imbalanced for people that take a break from the game and don't stand a chance at catching back up. If there was CP involved in these weekly enhancements. Sorry, weekly collections. These enhancements are intense. Oh man. Uh, CP breakdown comparing system. CP breakdown revamp. Total CP. Base family C. Base character CP. They're giving us access to a lot more. And it looks like we can compare. Meaning you can pull up your CP versus a friend's CP. The check CP category has been grouped. You can now compare your CP with the average CP of other users. Oh, average CP. Interesting. I guess you could select... Okay, they'll, they'll allow you to select a CP, like a goal. And you can be like, anyone else at, at 4,400 CP? Okay, I'm actually doing better than the, than the average 4,400 in these categories. I'm doing worse in these ones. And it will help give you advice on what to focus on to improve your own CP. That's excellent, actually. That's a great, that's a great quality of life update. IOS, for optimization, effects will be simplified on devices with one gigabyte of memory. Touche. Added a feature when you automatically obtain skill books. Where you automatically... Added a feature where you automatically obtain skill books. Characters that completed Ascension can immediately use skill books from skill book chests when using the open chest feature from inventory. The auto-acquire skill books feature can be used from all chests within the inventory and open chest menus. Skill books acquired before Ascension will automatically be used towards family skill training. Skill training is available after a character completes Ascension. Silver is needed for skill training. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Arena. Adventurers entering the normal arena will now have a fixed AP and DP in order to promote fair gameplay. That's super cool. Absolute fixed AP DP. Give me access to that. Just a little bit more. Spread it. Give me access to fixed AP DP combat. That is incredible. Other than CP, other stats, HP, damage inflicted to other adventurers, damage taken, will remain the same. So, eight, so your CP is balanced and all your other stat modifiers still have an effect. Change the damage inflicted based on CP to make ranked arena more competitive. Change the damage inflicted based on CP to make ranked arena more competitive. Change to ranked arena will continue to be made. 
So they are working on balancing CP and ranked arena, which is incredible, actually. Honestly, the, the more CP even they make ranked arena, the more healthier this game is going to be. I really hope they keep a, keep a close eye on ranked arena. It is the biggest potential this game has. Honestly, ranked arena is incredible. And uh, I, the more balanced, the more fair you can have it, where people really want to invest time in it because it's skill-based, the better the game is going to be, the more life it's going to have. Like, absolutely. Changes to ranked arena will continue to be made. Changed the level requirement for ranked arena from 25 to 50. Fix an issue where points were deducted during matching phase, even though the match didn't start in ranked arena. What? The points that were lost because of this issue will be restored after this maintenance ends. Actually, that is kind of sketchy. Let's say you played a thousand games of arena and you lost, you could have lost a thousand total points to this glitch, but through grinding, you kept grinding back up to your potential. So let's say you're, you're, you were stuck due to unable to be able to beating, unable to win versus your opponents. And the highest you could push was 3000. You would get to 3000, you'd lose some matches, and then you'd lose 50 points to this glitch. You keep going, you'd lose some matches, you lose 50 points to this glitch. But every time you kept fighting your way back up to 3000, and now they refund all your missing points. If you played enough arena, you could have glitch lost 3000 points to this. What are they going to do? Dump 3k on? All of a sudden you're the only person at 6000 points? They got to be careful with how they fix this. A win will be given to an adventurer if his or her opponent leaves a match during ranked arena. Added start match and bonus match in the result window while, at, while in a bonus match at Ranked Arena. Change the season rewards being displayed on the Ranked Arena lobby from, from the rewards being offered for the current tier to the rewards being offered in the next tier. Awesome, awesome. The participants in Ramonis will have their points displayed and it can be viewed by others. Love it. Uh, ancient Ruins. Adventurers will now automatically leave after a certain time once they complete an Ancient Ruin. Camp, the item description will display when you tap on the list of obtainable items. Adventurers can now enter Ramonis and Ranked Arena from the camp. Social, change to get a notification when a Bloodkin's online. Change to get a notification when a Bloodkin declines. The summon request, miscellaneous, fix the word order of the horse tier text on exchange results window for each language. The guild tab is now available on the chat screen for easier access. Remove the option to equip crystals by going to the item tooltip comparison window on the guild boss rush slash world boss result window. Crystals? Remove the option to equip crystals. Do you mean alchemy stones? Interesting. I don't know, but they said they removed it, so I guess it wasn't supposed to be there. Fix an issue where the animation for the purchase button was displayed incorrectly when, when purchasing items from the pearl shop. The refresh products text will now appear in the pearl shop when items cannot be purchased because they did not refresh. And bug fixes and other changes. Quest, you will no longer get Awakening Ascension Weapon Exchange Coupon as a reward from the Dark Knight's Ascension quest. The item cannot be used at this time. Items that are in possession by adventurers have been retrieved and will be sent back out when it can be used again. Hmm. I mean, it's, people sounds like they'll get it. They'll get them back, which is interesting. But, um, but they've taken away our ability to, to farm more of them. Oh well. Uh, fix an issue where a message was displaying incorrectly in the open requirement window after defeating Hex Marie and going to Arena. Fix an issue where the camera didn't move when tapping on team members of adventurers while spectating using watch mode in Ramonis. Watch mode. Any any improvements to watch mode in Ramonis? I'm all about that. We're, we're, we got our Ramonis weeklies undergo now. Fix an issue where the team victory text didn't display properly for certain languages in watch mode. You can no longer enter world boss dungeons while participating in Ramonis. Change to make arena menu unavailable when you're in a location where use of arena content is restricted. And fix an issue where the arena tutorial activated incorrectly under certain conditions. Camp. Fix an issue where the top menu UI displayed when exchanging materials from the blacksmith. And fix an issue where the text cut off in the special boss rush preparation window. Uh, they stopped it from being cut off. Fantastic. Classes. These are always some of the most important parts of this patch. All classes fix an issue where skills that deal damage over a period of time was incorrectly applied with a plus one increase. Oh, rip to all the dots. Damn. <laughs> it's a nerf to every class that has dots. Event, new events, Black Spirits Adventure, ending events, basically everything. Dark Knight's gone, Perfect Vacation Getaway's gone, Barbecue Missions event, Daily Missions for new and returning adventurers, and the Login event for new and returning adventurers.
Now let's head back into ga the game to actually check out this update in action. And it looks like we're going to be getting absolutely spammed all day with Pry, Duo, Try, Pen, you name it, Tet, Update, uh, in <laughs> Enhancements. I'm actually probably going to turn this off today. That is a little bit insane. But looking at the events, let's start with them. Black Spirits Adventure, we've seen this before. Collect the dice and go crazy with laps. Get rewards. It looks like the rewards have been significantly boosted though. Magical Residue, uh, Magical Essence, fantastic. I'd love to see both of those. Uh, actually, Accessories. Magical Essence is the, is the best thing on this board that I'm looking at so far. The rest is all kind of mess. Silver, Stones, we don't care. Magical Essence is a premium drop. I really hope I land on that an absolute ton. Stay on, definitely stay on top of this event. You want to, you want to get as much of that magical essence as possible. Uh, no, no other events in the tabs to check out. They've just removed them all. We, we, we are saying goodbye to the pirates event zone. That's now gone. And of course, we were, we, we we're seeing the addition of Schultz Secret Fortress Mystical Armor Chest excludes Jin Jin gear. Schultz Supply Sacks. Schultz Armor, Schultz Helmet, Grand Stones. This is a very, very, very profitable zone. But look at these monsters. 7.8k. Oh, no. Those are the those are the um, first regiments. But when we're seeing Thousand Watchtowers, Supply Camps, Tents. Nope. The actual mobs are 7.8 to 8k CP. That is insane. So you definitely need a, a massive bump, which which is available to, re to be received through this uh, Pry... Tet, uh, all these new enhancements we're looking at. Black Spirit, let's check out Awakened Enhancement. Whew. Enhancement, pristine black crystals, uh, five mil and one pristine black crystal per attempt. And let's just check out how intense this goes. 434 to 905. Wow. Wow, 434 to 905. Let's check it out. Just, let's check it out on boots. This is the, the, the biggest difference. 125. All the way up to 279. Whew! So that's like 150, like easy 300. We saw 400 here. Uh, I know that the devs in their, in their, basically the devs in their stream said something close to 1500 CP is available on this system. So you're going to see some crazy shakeup in in everything on the server completely with the development of these new enhancements. Let's pop into the camp real quick and just take a look at what it actually takes to make these crystals. In camp here, you're going to head to your refinery, craft black crystals, and pop open this new, uh, basically this new enhanced pristine black crystal crafting menu. The orange stones are worth about 20% each close to 20%. The yellow stones look like they're worth about 8% each. Grand stones are worth eh, about 2%. Sorry, uh, the, yeah, the yellow grand, the, the purple good stones are worth about 0.1%, so 10 of them. And then the rest of them are worth very little, we'll call it. And then these pristine black crystals are going to be what is used to make these crazy new enhancement attempts. And of course, when you succeed in them, they're going to go up when you fail they go down and you have a, you have a chance at trying to restore that fail and maintain it where it is this is the enhancement system that we're used to seeing from actual black desert online tons of rng tons of wasted resources and you can just as easy you can go you can end up doing an enhancement session and actually getting worse gear at the end of it I mean, I mean, it's something we're, we're we're very used to in the in the general MMO standpoint. It's just a terrifying system, that's for sure. Let's check out the new check CP screen that they've added to the game. Uh, this this one I'm actually very excited about. So comparing to the average CP of other people that are my CP, my knowledge is horribly low. They're saying I'm literally a hundred behind on my knowledge. 
for my CP. I'm ahead Black Spirit wise. I'm ahead passive wise. My collection is uh, is great. My pet album is ahead of the curve. My knowledge on bosses and total boss level. That's where I'm really, really behind, which makes sense because I have a ton of boss stamps saved up that I'm really just waiting for hot time to end for me to use. But I'm actually going to, now that this patch is hit, I'm going to ditch that mentality. It is the week for me to finally do my boss rushes. I'm ahead in a lot of other categories. I'm behind relic wise. My enchants and my light stones are lacking towards the average people. And I'm actually ahead in most other categories. Uh, and it's interesting to see, so then I could pop up and I could say, okay, show me somebody that's at 5100. And I'm actually ahead in a few categories compared to 5100s. But it'll show you what you need to do, what you should be focusing on to get to 5200. My gear's behind, my extra benefits are mostly ahead, my pet album, my collection are ahead, my passive skills and character stats are actually ahead of 5200s. So you can really see what it is. What do you need to do? I need to jump 161 in my knowledge category to get to 5200 and 113 in my equipment. That's where it's coming from. And they'll break it down individually. Enchants are super lacking in the enchant department. That is somewhere I need to pick it up in order to hit 5200. This new check CP option is actually incredible. That is an amazing addition to the game. And <clears throat> the last thing we really got to look at here is going to be our new collection so they've, they've added a weekly special collection uh actually it says i have some of the things for it. it looks like it's just a bunch of random gear second collection third collection some gear and crystals but let's jump in and actually take a look at what this is mostly green random green and blue gear random green blue gear green crystals and some things i need to go and craft and then all in Weekly special collection, we're looking at getting a grand blackstone sack times three, individual rewards, ancient tablet times a hundred, uh, nothing super special there, ancient gold coins times a hundred, good weapon blackstones, so just little quality of life things. You know what? I like it. It's a way to give us, just give us a, a handful of stuff. Ancient tablets times a hundred, looks like it's coming out of all three of those, so 300 ancient tablets, some grand blackstone sacks. Just some, some, something a little interesting. You always got to check, keep an eye on your collection. Keep progressing it. That's going to do it for today's update. Uh, good luck with your pry, your duo, your, your super enhancements that are coming out today. I'm definitely going to be covering them very, uh, very close. Uh, definitely going to be covering them closely in their own video as there are some, some crazy intense content. They're really going to make a rift in the balance of CP on the server. People that are ready for these enhancements are gonna jump way, way ahead. So, you know what? Keep your head down, it's a marathon. There's gonna be a big divide created today, but, but honestly, it's gonna be really tough for people that aren't super prepared for it, and I know this. I'm with you, know that. Like I'm definitely in your boat as well. Very underprepared for this patch to hit today. Uh, just just keep your head down. Stick with it. It's going to be a slow grind. Remember, it's a marathon, and and it's it's not the end of the world that people are going to get ahead of you today. You're, we're going to be able to catch up. Work on getting all your gear if you can. Just try to get to pry on everything. Try to get to duo on everything. Just take it one step at a time. We're going to get there. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, everybody. And until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.